So a few weeks ago we did a tour of my lodge for the North America map, so today we're going to go through basically my lodge for all the other maps, and it's kind of separated into different reserves, but also kind of not. So I think we'll start kind of in the main room here. So we got random 963 diamond teal, we've got diamond black back up here, this I believe was a level 4, the 952 and then a 968 there beside him. We have a diamond water buffalo, my biggest actually, 988. And a recent addition here, 931 Leucistic Blackbuck. We got the diamond there beside him, a 972. Kind of a wall of sad mule deer, 946 there, 921, which is slightly messed up, and 925. Then there's a 941, and on this side, a 920. All big rack level 4, or small rack level 5, none made diamond. But then we have the multi mount there with the 985 red deer and an albino female. We have the two red deer on the side, 923 and a 919. I think both of those are mythical. We've got a thousand diamond teal, 955. If I can get around the buffalo, 976 and 958. It's all diamonds there. Diamond water buffalo right on 950. And just two rares up there, a 870 piebald axis deer. And on this side, a leucistic 914 black buck. So. I kind of like the rares up there. I thought that was pretty cool, but then we have a, a couple of pretty nice sort of entrance mounts. We have the two albino red deer, 796, that was a recent addition as well, and the female, and then of course the albino diamond water buffalo, which was killed eh, like three weeks ago, something like that. One of my favorite trophy lodge uh, additions ever. But then we actually have the albino red deer, which got replaced by that bigger one over there, 764. And we have a diamond teal, just chilling here, 956. And pretty much an entire corner of black buck and axis deer. Now, I do intend on putting red deer here. I think I want to wait till their true racks are released, because I think that's going to be cool. But what we have is a 969 and 961 there. We have a 972 and 964 up there. And then the bigger horns won 995, which I think is my second biggest ever. I'm pretty sure I have a 996 in the other lodge, but... He's the biggest one in this lodge, and only the uh, the second, like, bigger horns, Diamond Black Buck ever killed, but two axes here, the bigger rack 969 and smaller rack 954. And then we just have this wall, so 985 Diamond Water Buffalo. Then we have a 964 and 962 above that. Two more just, like, mythical Red Deer 905 and 926. Diamond axis here right on 950. And one last diamond black buck at 959, but I think that's it for the parquet part of the lodge. So in here I've kind of combined Hirschfelden and Quattro Kalinas because I think they sort of work together really well. So we have a 916 Red Fox. I think I shot that off the Yukon, but honestly it was on the multi-mount with the Diamond Rabbit, but the Melanistic Fox replaced him. So I just stuck that there and an 872 Road Deer over on this side. Then I did a Wall of Fallow Deer, so a 924. A 949, which actually never made it into a video, it might eventually, uh, but that does remind me to mention that there's going to be links in the description to a lot of the hunts for many of the kills that are going to be in this lodge, so if you want to see those, those are going to be down there, but then we have a 971 actual diamond, and a 940, which was actually another level 5. We got the roadie here with a 962 diamond, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe this one. He kind of looks to be the biggest, but there's a 936 and a 928 in there as well. I actually like the road here a lot more since the Truex. I think that's good. But we have the Albino Grand Slam for the Ibex. 870 Bethides, 826 Grados, 736 Southeastern Spanish, and a 603 Ronda. I swear I shot a bigger Albino Ronda, but I guess not. Then up here is kind of just a wall of geese. Got a couple of rares, so that one is a gray, just a female. Then we have a common 907, brown hybrid 786, another nice fallow deer 924, brown hybrid again, female, I think probably the biggest goose in this lodge, 922, and one more brown hybrid female, 715 for that one, but I kind of like the way Hirschfelden and Quattro Kalinas fit together, I think that's good, but continuing on the Quattro Kalinas, we have a 991 diamond mouflon, we got the pristine 934, a albino 732 there in the back, which should have been a gold, but I messed him up uh, at least a little bit. And an olive 835. So essentially what I did with this multi-mount 
is the diamond mouflon and kind of three different fur variations for wolves. And I mentioned that because it's essentially the same thing going on in here. There's a melanistic wolf here, which, oh, I need to go back to the first. 895, he was actually kind of big. I think he was a mythical. But then we have the albino 884 mouflon and three more wolf colors. So we have the phantasma that is a mission, 969. We got the Sombra, which is the black one, also a mission, which also scored 969. And the Ogro, which is part of that same mission train. He's a 788, and apparently that can be like a wide range of scores. I got a lower one on that. But there's two rabbits over here. This is a common, but it's like that lighter color. I need to switch back again. He's a 689. And a little albino 661 here too. But we got two albino Bathidias, which were killed actually on the same day. 970 and 982. Diamond Grados, 975, and another Diamond Grados, 972. Got a 958 Diamond Mouflon, and two more here, 979 and 960. And a nice Diamond Red Deer, 971, which was the only diamond I shot with 6.5. I know that's definitely in a video that's going to be in the description. Then the last thing we have back here is a Diamond Wolf, the only Diamond Iberian Wolf I shot that is not part of the missions, 966. And a nice little 993 Diamond Rondo, which was max weight and not a thousand, but that is my luck in this game, so that should not be a surprise. But we're gonna head back to the Medved room now. All these plaques, I guess I'm gonna try to do Red Deer going into the Quattro Cleanus room and probably Reindeer leading back into the Medved room, but for now, this is kind of just what I have. I haven't done a ton of hunting Medved, but got a Diamond Brown Bear 973 and actually killed in the same video another 973 Diamond Brown Bear, which oddly enough. I didn't mean to do it, but this is the same platform where I have my diamond black bear in the North America Lodge. Go figure. But kind of what I did back here is try to get a bunch of different reindeer true racks. So we got a 938, 936, just a little 813, but he's kind of completely different. And I wanted to replace, I think it's the two end ones, this 822 and 804, but the 924 which for some reason was a level 5 and 909 i plan on keeping them because i like their antlers then back here we have probably one i'll keep a 907 he's kind of got unique true racks and this multi-mount a 993 diamond reindeer which was killed christmas eve which i think was in christmas day's video that was actually a nice surprise the pie bolt over here which is an 8 a 626 and the leucistic 709 here and up on the wall, we did a Melanistic Female, 752. That up top is a Legacy Moose, 944. That's not a true rack. And then two actual true racks, 915 and 896 for that. Random rare Leucistic Reindeer. Another Leucistic Reindeer here, both females. That is a 947 level 2 Musk Deer, which unfortunately I didn't record. I didn't realize it was going to be that big, but that's the biggest one I got in this lodge. And then just an 875 beside him but that is the two side rooms and then we have kind of the main room I guess for this entire lodge but leading into that 971 diamond gemsbuck and a 935 mythical uh, brown cape buffalo kind of same deal on this side not quite diamond 949 cape buffalo and 954 dark gemsbuck and just a couple of random warthog that I think I mounted as placeholders at one point 908 and 858 i just wanted like different tusks but this is kind of the main room we have the 983 diamond water beast here i just love the the water beast with the bigger horns so having two of them there's pretty cool but we've got the recent edition over here this was on the most recent live stream 988 diamond kudu and his 958 counterpart over here i'm pretty sure like it's barely noticeable but i feel like these horns are a little bigger so there's a little bit of variance there which i like the two Diamond Warthog actually were killed like hours apart, maybe less, 975 and 972. And then these two Springbuck I want to replace. It's a 929 and 938, but they're both like the small diamond rack. Eventually, I do want to replace those, but we do have a change here, which was really recent. We have the two Diamond Springbuck on this side, 953, which is the small horns, and 982 there. Then our new Albino, the 754. Just a female 653 black brown and a much bigger 907 albino. And just another diamond on this side. He was a 968. And we have, I think this is the biggest diamond games buck I have in this lodge, 989. That was actually killed, I believe, in the same video. Because these are 
one day apart as this 990 Diamond Wildebeest. Again, he's got the big horns, which I really like. And just a 967 Gimmis Buck up there as well. And we have another Diamond Warthog, 960. This one, if you guys remember, was on a live stream that went like an hour and a half, like later than it was meant to, just because I was chasing this. And just a little Albino, which was another pretty recent kill just beside that. Then we have a Gold Gold Gensbuck, 807 female. I really want a Diamond Gold. I think that would be so cool. It would look really nice. I'd love to get that at some point. But for now, we have that. We have a pretty nice albino world beast. That was another fairly recent kill. Then, pretty much the centerpiece of the entire lodge. We have the 963 Diamond Cape Buffalo, which I really want the bigger horns. I actually want two of them. I'll show you where I want to put the other one in a minute. But then there's the Blonde Lion, which was something I've wanted for almost an entire year and finally got uh, like a month ago. Got the albino female and just a common female, which I want to get a dark brown. There are female dark brown lines, and I'd like to just have like three different colors here. And that would be, I think, really cool. But I'm pretty happy with that one overall. But then we have the crowned wildebeest, which if you don't know, only females can be crowned, which is unfortunate because they look really cool. And a diamond crown would be like amazing. But this is like a bigger female. It was a level two. Like it actually looks decent. And then we have the diamond lion which was killed like a long time ago and just the the normal female there i'd like to get an albino for that one too but i don't know doesn't look too bad too commons but this is where i want to put another big horns diamond buffalo i'd like one in the middle here but we had that video uh the other day where we had like the two cape buffalo from a while back that's these two there was the 956 and the 954 and then just another 957 over here so just to kind of I don't know, make it look nice. I'd like to have that bigger horns one in the middle. But then we have the Leucistic, completely messed up 328 scoring Cape Buffalo here. And a little multi-mount with the Albino 750 Kudu and a female Red Brown. But I think that is the entire lodge. I've got like these side rooms, which I do have stuff in, but they're not really anything special. Like this is a Diamond Gens Buck, it's 977. This happens to be another 977, a Wildebeest. But like he's got the smaller horns, Honestly, I think this is bigger than one of the Gems Buck I have in the other room, so maybe I should switch that out, but I'm pretty sure it's actually the same horns, and then kind of same deal in here. Just random stuff. Like, there's a 955 gold diamond wildebeest in here. Wolves. Move along. 951 Gems Buck. Like, these aren't really things that I intend to display, but a bunch of random diamond Gems Buck. There's a 981 there. Maybe that's the one I should replace. But yeah, that is kind of just stuff that... I didn't want to get rid of, like, I didn't want to delete the trophies, but I didn't feel like they were as good as the stuff in here. Other than that, apparently one or two big guns, but I should probably switch around, but even still, like I said, they look, I think, exactly the same, but as far as, like, this lodge compared to the North America lodge, I think this one's a little more done. Like, there's still a lot of stuff I want to do, specifically these two hallways in the Medved lodge, especially has, like, a lot of work to be done. I want to get the Diamond Grand Slam here for the Ibex instead of the Albino, but for now this is here. But other than that, like I'm actually really happy with this lodge. I think it looks quite good. So that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.